Hello and welcome, cyber dogs and citizens of the internet to a brand new modded Minecraft series on the Ren Dog channel. This series of awesomeness and wonder is going to be called SevTech Survival. And in it, we are going to be playing through this year's most popular mod pack known as SevTech Ages. Now, for those of you guys who don't know much about the SevTech mod pack, you are in for a magnificent treat with your dog, me, the Rendicated Dog. Because this, my friends, is considered one of the best mod packs ever created in the history of modded Minecraft. And in fact, this year, uh, this mod pack did a lot of amazing work on Twitch and on YouTube. It was exceptionally popular. And I thought it's about time that we get our teeth stuck into this bad boy. And boy, am I excited, guys. This is going to be so insane. I've already played about 16 hours or so worth of Save Tech. I've actually been streaming uh, some Save Tech on my Twitch channel, as you can see. The idea of SevTech is very simple as shown by the beautiful background screen here for the menu. As you can see over here, we've got a sort of Stone Age looking picture and all the way on the side, we have got a spaceship in space. And the idea of the SevTech mod pack is that we're going to start all the way here in the Stone Age and eventually we're going to end up all the way over here, literally in space. And, uh, well, we are going to be progressing through all of these magnificent different ages, right? We're going to start in the Stone Age, move to the, I don't know, what is this, the Neanderthal Age, the Medieval Age, the Industrial Age, the Modern Age, and, of course, the Space Age. So that is going to be the journey that we are on. Now, the really cool thing about SevTech and what makes it kind of easy to follow and easy to understand is that all of this technology available in the 263 mods becomes unlocked as we progress through the ages. All right, Randog, that's enough talking. Let's get busy playing a little bit of Save Take over here, guys. I hope you have a tasty beverage. I hope you have a crunchy snack because it is time to kick off a brand new series with your dog, the Ren Diggity Dog. It is going to be amazing, man. This is going to be a copy of the world that I've already played on. Uh, I've had a little bit of practice, so I kind of know what I'm doing. Uh, not really, though. I still have a lot to learn, but we're going to call it the Age of the Canine Survival Mode, and we are going to be turning cheats off, of course, and I think we'll keep everything else the same. I don't want to mess too much with the, um, the, the presets here for Save Tech. There's the seed for those of you guys who want to follow. Well, without any further ado, my fellow Minecraft cavemen and women from all over the world, it's time to play some SevTech Survival! So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our very first episode of SevTech Survival. Our brand new world is just loaded up. I've just given it a couple minutes to load all the chunks so that we don't have a bunch of lag and we are about ready to get going over here. Got a couple of messages from the SevTech team and I will be talking a little bit about these things throughout this series. So if you're a little bit intimidated by modded Minecraft, hopefully I can make this journey nice and simple for you as we travel through the ages of SevTech. Are you guys ready for this? I got a, a pretty interesting surprise that I'd like to share with you right off the bat. Here we are in our brand new world. The sun is rising, our first morning here in SevTech. And guys, take a look at this. Please prepare yourself for a little bit of a chortle because I have had a bit of a wardrobe change. <laughs> Cyber dogs, do not adjust your monitors. My skin has become the skin of a caveman. We're wearing a tiger loincloth, which I'm not entirely sure where I got that from. Let's be honest with ourselves. I can barely kill a zombie. How the freak could I kill a tiger? for my new attire but i think it looks really cool guys and this is uh well this is going to be the outfit that we rock for the first age of sev tech the goal of course is to maybe get some better clothes in the next age but please be introduced everybody to your host for the sev tech survival series crunk the caveman hello hi crunk crunk smash that that is going to be my terrible attempt at voicing uh, <laughs> our character for the SevTech series, or at least for the caveman portion of the SevTech series. Crunk the caveman, he has spawned in a new world, and Crunk has some very, very basic requirements, guys. Crunk needs safety, Crunk needs fire, and Crunk needs cave woman. <laughs> 
lady companion friend. Now, I don't think we'll be able to help Crunk out with the cave lady, but we'll certainly be able to help Crunk out with surviving in this very harsh world of SevTech survival. <laughs> It looks real beautiful though, doesn't it? It's looking magnificent. I love these purple trees or these pink trees over here. And we got some interesting things to take a look at around here. And ooh, looks like we have started right next to a little bit of cave action. That looks like a pretty decent spot to spend our first night down there. I don't know exactly how safe that cave is, but that is certainly looking pretty good. We've got a bunch of sheep around here too, which uh, I guess we can use for food at some point too. Now, the interesting thing about SevTech, guys, is that it does not work the same way as Minecraft Survival. In fact, it is much more difficult than Minecraft Survival. For example, we it's very difficult to get food. In fact, it's very difficult to get anything in SevTech. And the way that we are going to be getting things in this mod pack is by loosely following the advancements menu over here. And as you guys can see, we are in the tutorial age. And there's a couple of things that we need to create for ourselves to unlock a little bit more technology. And uh, it looks like our first thing is going to be to unlock mesh. To get to this menu, you press L, and if you want to follow along in your own uh, SevTech world, this is a great menu to use. I'm probably not going to use this too much, though, because it's kind of annoying going back and forth between the menu. I'm going to try and remember some of these things, but as you can see, the tutorial is trying to encourage us to get some, some weapons and some tools and stuff right away, so that should probably be our very first task around here. Let's just take a quick look around our world, see that what we can see. Uh, we got some beautiful water over here, which is good. I'm kind of excited about that cave that we found i think that's going to be a great spot for our first night uh, of survival just want to get a few more resources around here also now the cool thing about sevtech guys is that it's kind of an intuitive mod pack right i think the way that the, the mod developers made this pack is they wanted us to try and immerse ourselves into the world and to try and i guess think like a caveman a little bit right so let's put that to the test if we're a caveman one of the first things that we need to do is make some tools. And to make tools, we kind of need some sticks, right? We need a little bit of rope of some kind, and I guess we'll need some sort of rock or something so that we can create a pickaxe or we can create a club or we can create anything, you know, that a caveman might be able to use. And, you know, the sooner that Krunk can get himself um, a pickaxe, I guess, it's the sooner that Krunk can smash. Because, um, well, that's all that Krunk really wants to do, I guess, is some smashing. <laughs> so we're going to pick up some sticks here from the trees, break a couple of those leaves and get some sticks and We've also been picking up a few rocks from around the area, right? These rocks, and well, we've been breaking some grass, and that's been giving us a little bit of twine. Now, Krunk's pretty good with his hands over here, guys. Check it out. We are going to be able to turn plant fiber into some plant twine. So we're going to make some rope out of that plant fiber, which is really awesome. And this is a great opportunity to show you guys the progression of SevTech. So as you can see, we are currently, we only have access to a very small number of things that we can craft. In fact, hardly anything Thing here uh, that we can craft. We've got a few tools and stuff over here. So maybe what we should do is try and focus on getting our first set of tools created right away. Shall we get a few of these flint tools? We can get a pickaxe, a hatchet, a work blade, a spear, a tomahawk. That's pretty cool. A rock hammer. So there's a few things that we can make. Oh, a fire pit also. Um, so let's start, I guess, with the flint hatchet. That sounds like a pretty good thing to make. We need a stick, some plant twinage, and some flaked flint. And flaked flint we need to make by, uh, what is this? Hitting a base item against a sufficiently hard surface, the resulting flakes are used for crafting basic tools. So that's pretty cool, right? If we put ourselves in the head of a caveman, I guess what a caveman, a caveman might do is find himself a rock or, for example, a piece of flint, and then he might smash that rock or that flint against a harder surface to create like, a, you know, like a, an arrowhead or, or maybe an axe head of some kind. I, I think that that's what that is trying to imitate. So we need to find ourselves a little bit of gravel because we know that Flint comes from gravel, right? We've learned that in Minecraft Survival, and it's the same here in SevTech. And there we go. We've got a nice little patch of gravel right here, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Um, and this should be a pretty inefficient way to get gravel, but I guess we can try get a bit of gravel over here. Although, if we go back to the advancements, this is interesting. Mesh your flint. Flint won't drop from breaking gravel. Use the grass fiber mesh in a crafting gr a grid with gravel to obtain flint consistently. Okay, so we can't get gravel from break. I mean, we can't get flint from breaking gravel. We have to use a mesh to do that. 
And uh, that looks to be the first thing that we're going to need to do here in SevTech, right? So let's get ourselves a bunch of gravel over here. And let's see if we can make ourselves a grass fiber mesh, which needs two sticks and two plant twines, which we have. Excellent. So let's make that. Uh, and we've just unlocked that advancement. And then I think we do it like this. We put the mesh with the gravel into our crafting table and boom, we get ourselves a bunch of flint. Very good. So 13 flint. That seems like quite a lot of flint, I guess. I'm not entirely sure how much uh, of the sharded flint we're going to get out of 13 flint. But let's get ourselves a little bit more gravel just in case we need a few more uh, of those little bits of flint over there. And I suppose it's about time for us to start settling in our little cave over there. I guess on the way there we should try and collect a few more resources, maybe a few more plant twines and whatnot. Haven't really found any food yet though, uh, which is a little bit worrying. I've been sort of looking around for maybe some plants that we can eat. That looks like something we might be able to eat, but it's definitely not grown yet. We've got some water, so we might be able to do some fishing, but I think the best way for us to get food here is going to be to kill some of these sheep. Ooh. Hang on, there's a bit of beetroot over here. Okay, <laughs> I don't know if we can eat beetroot straight up. Uh, we might be able to, uh, but we're going to need to do that. Which reminds me uh, of something that I need to share with you guys about SevTech. Take a look at this. In SevTech, we've actually got nutrition, uh, which is something we're going to need to keep an eye on. If we click on this carrot, you can see that we've got a whole bunch of nutritions for vegetables, proteins, grains, and fruit. Eventually, we need to be able to eat all of these different food types to keep our nutrition up, or else we're going to start suffering. We're going to get a little bit sick, and bad things are going to happen to us. So that's something that we're going to have to think about uh, in the future. At the moment, I think our goal should literally just be to set up in a cave somewhere for first night to survive that first night. Ooh, there's a bit more gravel here. Um, and of course, to get ourselves a little bit of a tool set going, a, a very primitive caveman tool set going. Um, you know, Crunk needs himself a hatchet, he needs himself a spear maybe, something to defend himself with. And where is that sun right now? Oh my goodness, okay. Uh, it's gonna start getting a little bit hairy out here. There's a little bit more beetroot over there. I'm not sure if we can eat that. What is th this? Is this a pumpkin or something? I don't, in don't exactly know. We'll let that grow. Let's take a look down here in this cave system. It's, uh, it's looking quite dark down there can we actually make any torches here we go we can actually make an unlit torch out of a stick and some plant twine an unlit torch out of stick and plant twine but i think we're going to have to have a fire to light the torch right because it's going to be unlit okay so we've got a couple of goals to do over here first and foremost let's chill down here for now and let's start working on some of our tools first things first let's get that hatchet going we need uh, some of these flaked flints and the way that we're going to do this is by trying to chip our flint against a harder surface right so there you go you can hear the uh the chipping there we go i i hear a trumpet do you did you guys hear that <laughs> That sounded very weird. Um, that that sounds like um, I, I hear a zombie too. Okay, so there's mobs very close to us. I'm assuming one of those mobs has a trumpet, which is kind of weird. Uh, we, we'll, I guess, see that in a second, <laughs> what's going on there. But first and foremost, let's make for ourselves uh, a flint hatchet. There we go. Our first hatchet has been made. Very nice. Now, to make these other things... We're going to need a much bigger crafting table, right? So we're going to have to make ourselves a decent crafting table. We'll need a crafting table for the work blade and for the spear also. So I guess making a uh, crafting table is going to be next up on the agenda. Really don't like the sound of those mobs though. I, there must be a cave system down there somewhere, right? Like pretty near. Maybe that's not the cave that we want to live with. Uh, but now that we've got a hatchet, I think we can start cutting down a couple trees here. Probably need to stock up on some wood action too. Uh, or some... Ooh, I dropped that. Oh, it's an unfamiliar item. So Crunk hasn't learned about that flower yet and he doesn't really want to hold it in his inventory, it seems. Uh, but why don't we cut down a few trees? Now that we've got this hatchet, let's cut down some trees. And by the way, uh, you, you can't cut down trees with your bare fists in Sev Tech. Um, you... Makes sense, right? I mean, <laughs> a caveman is pretty strong, but I don't think he's strong enough to cut down a tree with his bare hands. Am I right? Uh, right. So we got ourselves some logs, which is good. And I was hoping to spend the first night in that cave, but I'm a little bit worried now if I'm 100% honest with you guys. I was hearing some mobbage down there, which is kind of disturbing. I, I guess there must be a cave system nearby, but let's get ourselves down here. The sun is going down, which is very concerning um we need to make ourselves a crafting table here 
<laughs> insane tech. And, well, to make a crafting table is not the same as in survival Minecraft. we got to make ourselves something called the work stump. And to make the work stump, we need a chopping block and an oak wood log. And we've just picked up those two things, which is great. And uh, let's make two chopping blocks because we actually need a chopping block to chop wood on. And there is our work stump. All right, good stuff. The sun is down, which is very worrying. Nice. <laughs> we got a massive achievement there, which is super exciting. We got the I'm stumped achievement, and it is getting really dark right now, guys. This is kind of scary. Okay, let's see if we can actually make ourselves some torches. Let's get some light going. Uh, nine, to uh, nine unlit torches, unfortunately. But I guess we're going to need to make ourselves a pickaxe now so that we can get ourselves some stone and that's going to allow us to make a fire i guess oh my goodness look at this we've unlocked a whole bunch of stuff right let's have a look at this we need to make this next the fire pit we need rocks we need sticks and we need twine i just used most of my sticks <laughs> to make this stuff so that's not good uh however take a look at this we can actually use our chopping stump over here to chop some logs into some planks so here we go let's make some logs then we can chop the logs, or the planks, should I say, into sticks. And that'll give us a few sticks. Good stuff. Now comes my favorite part of the beginning of Save Tech. And this is the moment where Krunk gets to smash. A Krunk a smash. As you can see, Krunk has got a massively oversized stone right now. And, well, we are going to be using this stone to craft stuff in our work stump over here. First thing that we need to craft is probably a pickaxe, right? Uh, a flint pickaxe, I suppose. And that's made with two flaked flints, some twine, and some sticks. And the way that we do this is kind of interesting. I, I'm just going to pray to the save tech gods that no mobs wander down here into our cave. Because if they do, we're pretty much dead, I think. <laughs> now, we're going to build our tool here in the work stump, right? Uh, what else did we need? Oh, the flaked flint. So one over there and one over there. And then, well... Crunk a smash! He's going to use his tool, his primitive tool, to smash out a pickaxe, which is fantastic news. That has taken us into the age of getting ourselves some cobblestone. So now we can get ourselves some cobblestone right off the bat, which is excellent. And, well, we're going to use this cobblestone to make ourselves a fire pit. And that is going to be able to take us into the next freaking level here. Because we're going to be able to get some light. We're going to be able to get a little bit of food. And this is going real well until a mob wanders into our cave. Let's have a look how we do this. So rocks, sticks with a little bit of um, twine in the middle. So the twine in the middle. And I don't know why I collected <laughs> that cobblestone right now. Uh, but there we go. Do we have any sticks left? No, it looks like we're going to have to chop a, a, a few more sticks over here. So let's chop some planks into, uh, or some logs into planks and planks into sticks, as it as it were. And uh, <laughs> I guess we can complete our fireplace now, right? So, Karanka smack! There we go. Let's smash out that fireplace. Beautiful. Now, the problem with the fireplace, of course, is that it requires fuel to work and... The fuel that it needs is wood, and I guess we're going to have to use one of our planks over here, I suppose, to get a little bit of light. Although I think it's probably prudent for us to get a weapon before we do anything else. I hear zombies. I can hear them upstairs. I hear them all around me right now. That is not the tool that we need. There we go. <laughs> let's chop this plank into some sticks, and uh, let's make for ourselves a spear, I think. That's going to be very useful, right? All cavemen sort of start their life. The first weapon they have is a spear, I suppose. And uh, it looks like to make a spear, we need some sticks like this and another bit of flaked flint at the end. And then, well, uh, you guessed it, the crunk of smash. Smash out that spear. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's a zombie down here. Ow. Okay, did we get the spear? We got the spear. Oh, jeez. Okay, zombie. Crunk a smash a zombie. Nice. Okay, we managed to actually wreck that zombie's life. But we've taken some damage. I've got one apple as food right now. And uh, I guess now we know that the zombies can wander into our cave. So first things first, guys. Let's get a little bit of light up in the Krunk cave. We've lit the fire. Let's light our torches in the flames of the fire. And now we get our first little bit of torch action here. Let's get a little bit of light in the entrance of our cave. And maybe all the way out to the top. I don't really want to venture out of the cave hole right now. I think it's probably quite dangerous out here. Although it's looking okay, if I'm honest with you. We had one zombie wandering into our hole, but that seems to be it. And we still have... Oh, no, there is a zombie over there in an absolutely horrifying suit of some kind. 
and he is waddling over here. Hello, zombie. What is happening? I would love to have your suit if that's a thing. I think we can actually throw the spear too, which is pretty cool. So here he comes through the reeds. Charge it up. A Karanka spear. Bam. Okay, that didn't do as much damage as I thought it was going to be. I guess we'll just hack the zombie with the spear. Oh my goodness. Okay, so zombie down. Uh, Crunk cave lit. Summer light is shining around the place. I think it's about time we get ourselves some food though. Let's get ourselves a little bit of lamb choppage up in here. Oh man, the sheep are running away. That's so, that's so bad. So if you kill a sheep, the, the sounds of the dying sheep, I guess, sets the others off. We've got a creeper in our face now too. It's probably a big mistake to leave the crunk cave, guys. We've got two creepers in coming. Okay, uh, this is bad. We've got a couple of creepers on us right now. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. We survived. We took a little bit of damage, but we have got ourselves two raw mutton chops our very first food for our sev tech survival series beautiful let's get ourselves back into the cave let's start cooking let's start getting some of this meat cooking on the flames uh can we actually use saplings for this yes we can so we'll we'll set a sapling on fire and we'll hang a little bit of meat in there and uh it looks like the sapling doesn't last that long we've got one little bit of oak wood left guys and <laughs> That is that meat cooking. It doesn't look like it's cooking very much. I suppose we could munch on this rotten flesh. Maybe get some of these beetroots in the belly. <laughs> it gives us like half a, a hunger bar. We already ate our apple and uh, well, it looks like it's going to take quite a few saplings to actually cook that beautiful mutton chop. There we go. Mutton chop in the belly. Nice. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, it's not feeling too bad for our very first day of Zevtech, guys. I guess what we need to do is get a little bit more light around here, right? Get this cave nice and lit up. And uh, I guess we just need to make ourselves a few more torches. And at some point in the daytime, we need to go get ourselves a little bit more wood. I think what we're, we're missing right now is a bunch of sticks. This is going to be the last of our, our wood used here. And that is going to be able to give us, what, seven more torches, which is probably not enough. Especially considering we now have no fuel for our campfire. But let's get a whole bunch more uh, lit torches here and get the crunk cave lit up <laughs> finally once and for all <laughs> the crunk cave <laughs> looking ridiculously primitive right now but you know what crunk smash and crunk real happy with episode one <laughs> we'll see you in the next one guys <laughs>